Macromedia Flash Starting Flash Flash is available in several versions, such as Macromedia Flash Professional Version 8, Version 9, and now there is also Version 10. Here you will learn about the basic version, that is, Version 8. Follow these steps to start Macromedia Flash. Click Start Menu. All Programs, Macromedia Flash. The opening screen appears. 2. Click on Create New Flash Document option. The Flash window appears. It is named Untitled 1 by default. Gradient Effects Gradient Effect is given to make the object colorful and to give it a shading effect. Any element that is drawn or inserted in a Flash document is called the object. Look at the image displayed on your computer screen. You can apply a gradient effect to any object by following a few steps. 1. Select the Paint Bucket tool from the toolbox. 2. In the Property Inspector window, click on the Fill Color option. The color palette appears. 3. You may select the default gradient colors given at the bottom of the palette. 4. You can also create new gradient for your object. To do so, click Window Menu, Color Mixer option from the menu bar. 5. The Color Mixer task bar opens at the right-hand side of the window. 6. Select the Fill Style for the object. There are different styles available. 7. RGB is the combination of red, green, and blue. Different shades are formed by mixing these colors. You may also see the color composition given with the color palette. 8. For any particular position of the object, the color markers are applied. You may click on any particular marker and select the color from the color palette. 9. To add another color marker, click below the gradient bar. You can add several markers to give a colorful effect to the object. Animation in Flash Animation is the rapid display of a sequence of images of 2D or 3D artwork or model positions in order to create an illusion of movement. There are two types of animation that can be performed in Flash. These are frame-by-frame -frame animation and animation with tweening effects. The frame-by-frame -frame animation is discussed here. Frame-by-frame -frame animation The basic form of animation is frame-by-frame -frame animation. Here you create the object for each frame to produce an animation sequence. This animation employs unique drawings in each frame. The order in which frames and keyframes appear in timeline determines the order in which they are displayed in a Flash application. You can arrange keyframes in timeline to edit the sequence of events in an animation. Inserting new frames in the timeline. 1. To insert a new frame, click Insert Menu Frame option. 2. To create a new keyframe, click Insert Menu Keyframe option or right click on the frame where you want to place a keyframe and select Insert Keyframe option from the context menu. 3. To create a new blank keyframe, select Insert Menu, Blank Keyframe option, or right-click on the frame where you want to place the keyframe, and select Insert Blank Keyframe from the context menu. Deleting frames in timeline. 1. Select the frame, keyframe, or sequence many frames together. 2. Click on Edit Menu, Timeline, 
Remove Frames option or right-click the frame, keyframe, or sequence and click Remove Frames from the shortcut menu. Creating an animation of bouncing ball. Let us now learn to create simple actions in Macromedia Flash with an example. 1. Click on the first frame on Timeline. 2. Select an oval tool from the toolbox and make a ball on the top left corner of the stage. 3. Select the arrow tool to get the mouse pointer. Right-click on frame 1 and select Insert Key Frame. 4. Right-click on the tenth frame and select Insert Frame. You will see gray frames appear on Timeline. 5. Now click on frame 5. Right-click and select Insert Frame. You will see a black dot appear on this frame. 6. Click on the ball and drag it to the center bottom of the stage. 7. Now select frame 10. Right-click and select Insert Key Frame as done earlier at frame. 8. Click and now drag the ball to the right top corner of the stage. Now you have the ball at three positions as indicated by frames 1, 5, and 10. 10. Click on Control Menu, Play option. The ball will appear to bounce once. 11. To repeat the bouncing, click on Control Menu, Loop Playback option. 12. To stop this looping, click Control Menu, Stop option. Symbols Creating a Symbol the steps to create a symbol are as follows. 1. Create an object required to be used again and again. 2. Select Insert Menu, New Symbol Option, or press Ctrl plus F8 or F8 key. 3. Create New Symbol dialog box appears. 4. Give the name to the symbol you are creating. The default name is Symbol 1. 5. Select the desired behavior by clicking on either of the options, Movie Clip, Button, Graphic. 6. Click on OK. Behavior of a symbol. Select any of the following depending upon the requirement of the movie. Movie Clip. The animated flash movies that can be reused in a movie. Button. They are used for timeline navigation and can be used for connecting a programming event. Graphic. The static images that are mainly made to create animations in a movie.